This morning in Washington state with a congressional race between incumbent Republican Jamie Herrera Butler and Democratic challenger Carolyn Long has not been called yet. Right now, Herrera Butler leads with 52% of the vote with 71% of the vote reported. And we want to get straight to Elise Haas, who's live in Vancouver with reaction from both candidates. Elise. Yeah, that's right, Ken and Jenny. So this has been a close, closely watched race between the two candidates. And right now, since the numbers started coming in, Butler has been holding on to about a 4% lead. There are still quite a few more ballots that st still need to be counted. But this means that Long hasn't conceded yet. She says she still wants to wait till a few more votes come in. But Herrera Butler feels optimistic this morning. And we talked to both of the candidates, and they told us that they're looking closely at the results and their campaigns. There have been a number of issues that I don't agree with a good number of the electorate here on, but they've seen me fighting on their behalf. And I think um, that, I, so I, I never felt like, oh, this is my seat. <laughs> it, it is an honor and a privilege to get to do this. And uh, it, it looks like I might get another shot. Immediate post-mortem, see what we did right, see what we could improve upon, and then sort of planning the next uh, type of cycle and what we're going to do. So uh, analyze where we're at how we got there and how we could uh, be better next time. Last night, Long admitted it's not easy to flip a district this red. However, this is the closest race since Butler's first race back in 2010 when she won with 53% of the vote. In past elections, Long says that Republicans have won by 20 points. But looking at the numbers this morning, Butler is confident that her lead will hold. Reporting live in Vancouver, Elise Haas, Coin 6 News. All right.